Hey y'all, so here we are, we're out on the river. Well, my buddy here, he, uh, he's he got a bad starter on his engine. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna rip this off and we're gonna replace this starter and get this boat running again. All right, right there we got those engines. Okay, these are actually not Mercury's, they're actually Yamaha's. What Mercury did is they bought uh, four strokes from Yamaha before they will, were able to produce four strokes. So this is actually a Yamaha engine, a Yamaha computer with a Mercury label on it. So what we're gonna do, this is a 225 four stroke, uh, 2006 Yamaha, and we, or Mercury, I guess. <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the starter on this. So let's get started. All right, to start this off, there's engine latches. There should be one right here in the front at the bottom. There should be one on each corner in the back. Right, and then the cowling will come off. There the engine is. And we're gonna remove the shroud. Okay, just pops up. Now there's the starter, right there. See it? See the Bendix is coming off the top of the starter? It's not supposed to do that. So what we gotta do is we gotta take off the air intake. This thing right here, okay? Now what there is, is there are 10 millimeter bolts holding it together. There's two 10 millimeter bolts there, see them? Right there, one missing here. Got another one gotta come up there. And then over here, we got another 10 millimeter, another 10 millimeter, all right? start off we're going to remove this I think it's like an O2 sensor there you go got it off right there and then we're going to take these 10 millimeter bolts out and remove this air intake so that we can get to the starter that's behind it right here okay see it all right y'all let's start right up here with these two 10 millimeters get them out make sure you uh, are careful and uh, don't lose your uh, nuts and bolts this is a precarious place to be doing it. See? There's one. The one's over here. One of the nuts. From the other side, pull it out straight. Woo! Gonna have to lose any pieces. All right, there's one side. Oh. One on the bottom I didn't get. All right, the other side should come off. All right, well, here's the starter. Right here. So we're gonna turn the power off, we're gonna move the power. And then these three bolts right here. And that should come right off. Let's get to it. So these bolts, these bolts are all 12 millimeters. 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and the power is 12 millimeter. Let's take it all off. Careful not to lose anything, it is easy. So it looks like there's a starter relay in here going to the solenoid. So we're gonna have to disconnect that also. It's a brown wire with a white stripe. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver to take that off. And then there's probably a 10 millimeter on the inside. But I'm gonna loosen up all the starter bolts while I'm here. And I'm gonna go get a Phillips head to take off that uh, relay cover. All right, so this relay cover here at the bottom, it has, uh, I'll show you. So you see the brown wire here from the starter solenoid? It's 
that's going to a start a relay, I guess, under the relay cover here. So some Phillips head screws to take out on the corners, and then uh, probably a 10 millimeter for the relay. I'm gonna remove the relay cover. Again, be careful not to lose any of the screws. Just a Phillips head. Four screws for the relay cover. starter relay so we're going to remove that nut that bolt and then uh, we're going to remove the starter and then do the exact opposite and replace everything and we should be back in business all right this is a 10 millimeter and uh, most things on these engines are 10 millimeters so many 10 millimeters on these engines it's ridiculous yeah. almost all of them are 10 millimeters so when you're in doubt it's probably a 10 millimeter There's the uh, there's the old starter. Put the new one on. Or the used one, I should say. What I'm doing is I'm putting the uh, hook up back onto the uh, starter relay. With, which, if you're having trouble, this could probably be part of the problem too. If you're having that won't start, it could be the starter relay. So make sure all your connections are good. Take this extension off, make sure I get a good fit on it. Put a little cover back on it so it doesn't ground down on anything. Protect your electrical. There we go. All right, and then let's put the cover back on. It's right here. See? When I 
put these on, I would just start them. Make sure they all line up before you tighten any of them down because if they're not lined up, it won't tighten correctly. I'm just gonna check the bolts on my starter. Everybody's nice and snug. And then I'm gonna put the power lead back onto the solenoid here. A lot of times what I will do is stuff a rag down in here. So if I drop something, it doesn't go too far. Don't over tighten this one on the um, solenoid, it'll crack. Just put it on there good, make sure the booty's on it to protect it from grounding out. We should be pretty much ready to go. We gotta put our air intake back on. But before I do that, I'm gonna turn the power on and kick this over once just to make sure it's starting before I put the whole air intake system back on. All right, y'all, it's pretty good. What we're gonna do is put the air intake back on now. Let's start with sliding uh, one side on here. Get the other side. Okay, now that we've got it kind of lined up, we got to line up where they join here in the middle. And that's the hardest part. And the older the engine, the softer the, the tubes go in between them will make it a little more difficult. Let me show you. All right, you can see them right down here. There's one and there's two. Remember there's two bolts up here, two bolts down here, and then the uh, sensor right here. Make sure you plug it all back in, but you got to get these to slide on evenly, which is a giant pain in the butt. This one and this one. So you put the camera up and I'm gonna work on it a little bit. So you're on your own for this. This is a giant pain in the butt. Sometimes I get like a long flathead screwdriver. I've seen it where some guys will put them on out here and zip time and then put it together as one piece. Um, good luck. All right, y'all. So I got these bolts tightened up. I got these bolts tightened up. The ones on the side, the sensor on the bottom and the bolts over here, the starters in place. Let's start this thing up. Well, I'm happy this worked out well, y'all. We're gonna put this cowling back on here. We're gonna get back home, but uh, thanks for watching. And let's stay tuned to our next uh, mechanic video. See what we end up ripping apart. Who knows, might be your boat.